Uh, I experimented a bit yesterday and I found out that we actually can do a little live coding session today, which is why I'm here with two laptops at once. So uh, please excuse me if I'm sometimes switching to the wrong one. Uh, wrong one. Uh, we're going to look at a portable Hello World program today. Uh, Hello World as an introductory example, but in a portable and parallel way. In order to follow today's lecture, I assume that you followed yesterday's lecture, uh, that you have successfully installed Alpaca on your system, that you have installed all of Alpaca's dependencies, such as Boost and CMake, and that you know how to point uh, CMake to your installation location of Alpaca. Just for starters, I'm going to uh, redo this here and uh, clone Alpaca to my local system. So uh, that we all have the same base. It's downloading a bit. And then I'm going to uh, install Alpaca to my local system. Using the stable release branch here. And I'm using CMake to install Alpaca. Okay, yesterday we've uh, actually tested the Alpaca uh, framework before we installed it. I'm not going to do this here because it takes too much time on my laptop, but you, uh, before you uh, do this on your local system, you should always do some testing beforehand. I'm just going to install it. And now I have Alpaca on my local system. Now we want to download the Hello World example. I have uh, made the repository public now, and you should uh, find the examples in the repository on, uh, on, uh, behind this link. So next I'm going to also clone this to my local file system. There it is. We uh, want to start with a basic Hello World example. So I'm uh, just going to copy it out of this uh, example tree and put it on some location on my file system. And this will be the basis for the coding session we're going to do today. Next, we're going to switch into this uh, newly copied directory. Uh, we're going to create a build directory inside it and also switch to the build directory because this is where we're going to run our uh, CMake for this example. Next, we're going to configure this example, and now it is important that we point uh, the, the point CMake to a local Alpaca installation. If you have installed Alpaca to a standard location, which uh, is user local on Unix systems and C program files on Windows systems, you don't have to point a CMake anywhere, but you have it in a non-standard location, you have to tell CMake where to find your local Alpaca installation. There are three ways of doing this. One is uh, specific for CMake and should work across operating systems where you just pass the uh, alpaca root uh, parameter in the end. 
Then there's uh, the environment variable way for Linux and Mac OS, where you have to export the CMAX prefix path. And then there's a non-standard location for Windows, where you set the CMAX prefix path. After you've set those environment variables, you just use the command for the standard location, uh, the command from the first bullet point. In my case, Apaka lives in a non-standard location, so I'm going to tell this to CMAC. We're always building in release mode too. There you go. Uh, this should look like, look like this. If you get any errors at this point, that this means that you uh, that CMAC couldn't find your Apaka installation typically. Next, we're going to build the example, which again we will do with CMAC and then release mode. The dot, that's important. And there you go, we have built the example. Now, before we uh, proceed to the next slide set and uh, look at the execution of this thing, uh, are there any problems or questions so far? Uh, I installed Alpaca successfully, but when I build Hello World, it, it has a bunch of compiler errors. Okay, which compiler are you using? Yeah. I'm running CMake presumably on top of the default in Mac OS, default Mac OS compiler. Okay. I can uh, post the error message in the chat if that helps. Uh, could you maybe place it into our issue tracker that I mentioned here? Because we okay. actually don't have that many developers using Mac OS, so we, we probably need some time to figure that one out. Okay. Uh, yes, so uh, could you please put it to the make a new issue on the issue tracker and then while Jan is talking, I could maybe take a look there and then we could discuss over the Q&A session later. Okay. Okay, this is also true for anyone else uh, who encounters any build or compil compilation problems right now. Please uh, report them to our issue tracker so we can uh, figure out what's going wrong. All right, that's it for this part.